Hello there and welcome to the video. I'm going to do a video today on Tom Watson, the former Labour leader's weight loss and reversal of type 2 diabetes. Now it's not quite new news this any longer but I think it's impressive on his part and I think it sheds a, a great um, light onto how we can reverse type 2 diabetes and lose a lot of weight and through eating more fat and I mean a lot more fat. He used the ketogenic or the keto diet and the keto diet states that you want to eat um, probably 70 or 80 percent fat in your diet and that can be any type of fat except for trans fats and they're fats that are man-made produced using um, seeds actually but they call it vegetable oil so you want to keep away from those and instead have lots of nice fatty meats and fry ups um, as long as you're frying it in butter and try and use uh, grass-fed cow butter coconut oil so these are all the fats olive oil that you, you can eat nuts plenty of nuts and plenty of, of meat um, so let's have a look at what he says so Watson credits his transformation with research he says I started to read a lot more and started to realize that if I got my weight down it would affect my insulin levels and blood pressure well there's plenty of evidence to show that's the case and plenty of evidence to show that you can do it very quickly and effectively with a high fat and low carbohydrate diet so What's interesting about these uh, news articles that when I started to read them about him is that although they, they touched on the diet that he was um, using to reverse his type 2 diabetes, there's only one newspaper that actually mentioned that it was a keto diet. I knew it was a keto diet because I can see all the types of things that they refer to him eating and they're the kind of things that I eat. He mentioned Dave Asprey and... Uh, bulletproof coffee so I instantly realized he was using the keto diet so um, he writes here when I was withdrawing from sugar last year I found it very useful to increase the amount of fat in my diet to help me get through massive sugar cravings I just stopped being hungry when I upped the fat and that's because there's a change in the chemistry in the brain that stops the brain sending signals saying that you're hungry all the time and if I start to eat carbohydrates again which I have done a couple of times over the years I, I within a day or especially the next morning I wake up and I've got these terrible hunger pangs which when I'm on the high fat diet I don't get hunger pangs even after I've been working out for a long time and maybe even haven't eaten for even six hours I still don't go to the supermarket and want to eat a baby because I'm so hungry it just doesn't happen you don't get that horrible horrible feeling he now calls himself a reformed sugar addict I think it's the most addictive substance on the planet personally and um, he gives uh, an idea here he says a can of full sugar coke has no nutritional value it contains 39 grams of sugar when the recommended daily allowance is 30 grams a day and I think I commend him here because look there's about 3.7 million people in the UK with diabetes and there's millions more with pre-diabetes so they're showing all the symptoms of, of diabetes but they're not actually diabetic and needing the insulin and he believes Britain's food system is broken and the NHS advice needs to change and I, I think I wonder if that's why he left um, politics just because of that um, but I commend him for that because it's absolutely 100% true and um, there are doctors who are being um, who are being dragged through the coals you know um, because of their their position on a high fat diet because it's going against the narrative and it's going against a lot of money a lot of big industries that want us to eat high carbohydrate plant-based diets and there's a lot of theologies that believe it or not are in control of organizations that then provide the dietary advice to the NHS and the government and their theology is what's pushing them to push on us a, a vegan lifestyle which 
it, it's proven isn't a healthy lifestyle. It's, it's devoid of a lot of essential vitamins and minerals that we need. But for some reason, they, they still keep trying to tell us, well, because of money and because of theology and ideology, that we should be adopting these plant-based uh, lifestyles. So the uh, Express is the one newspaper that states that he's following the keto diet. Um, and it's a high fat, adequate protein, so not too much protein, low carbohydrate diet, which forces the body to burn fats rather than carbohydrates by sending the body into a state of ketosis. Now, in relation to fats, this is uh, Rob Taylor, professor of medicine and metabolism at Newcastle University, who has four decades, 40 years studying diabetes. And he says, we've shown that type two diabetes is simply a disease of too much fat inside the liver and pancreas. If we manage to shift that, the diabetes will go away, away, provided the condition has not been there for too long. So if you've only had it a couple of years, you've got something like a 90% success rate of shifting the diabetes if you can get rid of the fatty deposits in your liver. Now, what's maybe a little bit counterintuitive is that the fat that you eat doesn't get turned into fat in the liver. It's actually sugars that do that. And we've known that for a long time, um, but I'm afraid once again, there's some very powerful people who 40 years ago or 50 years ago, wanted us to believe that it was fat or saturated fat that caused um, chronic heart disease, for instance, when actually it isn't. And Eisenhower, um, who I mentioned in, in another video um, in relation to medical fraud in the world today, and especially in ac academia, when he had a, a heart condition, I think it was a heart attack, Ansel Keys, who's the guy behind telling us all incorrectly that um, saturated fats are linked to card, um, chronic heart disease, they're not, it's, it's well proven now, um, put Eisenhower on a really strict diet of no, very, very low or no fat diet um, to get rid of his cholesterol. Um, but when he died, um, which he was on that diet up until his death in 1969, he died from heart disease. So he should have been a perfect case of a person who had a reformed um, cholesterol and um, heart due to his low, low saturated fat diet, yet with, with all of the effort that he put in, and you can imagine he had dietitians working on his diet every day, he, he died from heart disease. They, they carried out, and this is the leading nutritional expert, John Newdkin of the UK at the time, said that he's carried out a series of laboratory experiments on animals and humans and observed as others had before him and have now that sugar is processed in the liver where it turns to fat before entering the bloodstream. It's sugar, and he's actually referring to sugar beet and sugar cane. So refined sugars that are added, the type that you'd get in Coca-Cola, and not just the sugars that we're getting from um, refined and high, highly processed carbohydrates today. So that's the upshot of it. Cut those carbohydrates out, up your fat intake, and eat really high, well, um, well sourced. So if you can get it, get grass fed, um, locally raised, well looked after um, meat from any any meat you like, lamb, um, beef, pork as well. There's nothing wrong with pork. And try and eat the other parts of the animal as well, the liver, the kidney, brain, intestines, all of those things really good for you bone broth as well so there we have it i hope you enjoyed that video and see you soon bye bye